What's good, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and be posted like for each and every video that I'll be uploading. Well, uh, today we are doing uh, a complete beginner's chest workout. If you're a pro, well, you don't need to see this video, or you can stay here just to have something to say in the comment section that can help everyone. All right, so we're going to be starting right from the warm up. Uh, and then to the bar, and then till we add on weight. For the warm up, we're going to be doing our push ups. Uh, now, uh, when, we the, when, when we do the push ups, uh, don't take long in the warm up. We're going to use push ups as our warm up, and then we get to the bar. For push ups, for starters, I normally warm up with 50 push ups in case I want to do push ups, or in case I want to make it a workout, I do weighted push ups. We're going to start with uh, five five push-ups, complete beginner. Uh, if you can't do a full push-up, uh, you can do a half push-up. And uh, for that, we do five five times five sets. Uh, that make, makes it a total of something like about 25. Then we go for the empty bar. All right, getting to the push-up. Uh, first of all, we're going to begin with hand placement. Full push-up first. Uh, shoulder width distance uh don't go so wide like here uh you might fail to come back up in case you're doing push-ups for the first time shoulder width distance and then get up and then go down come back up two three four five all right you can do five times five, five times five sets. Uh, that's uh, pretty much good enough for starter. Or you can do half push-ups in case you have never done push-ups. Or you can't push yourself back up. You can do this. Cross your legs behind, knees on the mat, and then do the same movement like you're doing a push-up. Push up. Three. Four. Five. Do five times five. That's good enough to warm up. Uh, if you progress later on, if you can't uh, do the full push up, start with the half push ups. Just your knees on the mat, and then you can progress to the full push up. Uh, just trust the process, it won't take you long. Uh, not everyone starts with doing push-ups, so just be patient and trust the process. Let's get to the bar. All right, so we're done with our warm-up. We're going to the bar. First off, we're going to look at uh, how we get to sleep on the bench. When you get to sleep on the bench, go down. At your back off. Get your back off the bench. And that's uh, how you're going to have your chest position. And then after arching your back, hold the bar from this point. Uh, they're usually marked on the barbell. Get it out. You push upward. Then push down. Let it down and up. Three. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Five is good enough for starters. And then the other thing uh, we're going to look at while you're doing the bench is the leg placement. Uh, when you get down, uh, don't put your legs up here. Maybe if you're sure, you can push the barbell when your legs are up here. But the best way is put it down. Make sure your back is supported by the legs at your back and then hold from where we are supposed to hold and then you push out for a set uh let's do for let's go for around five five times five for complete starters and you're good to go uh we're going to go up at uh, the point where we add the weight uh don't go don't 
overdo it. Uh, since we are just beginning out, it's our first time at the gym. We're going to start. Uh, the weights we have here are five. That's the lightest we have around. You can start from as low as 2.5. Uh, progress to 7.5. Go to 10 and onwards. Let's hold up a plate of 5.5 five on either side. We're adding up weight. When we go up on weight, uh, we keep the same posture, sit down the same way, get up, hold the bar, legs firm on the ground, let's go for a set, one, two, three, Five. Well, we've noticed like uh, when I'm doing the sets, I'm coming down nice and slow. But when you get to the bar, don't push it. Don't just push it out. Don't just push it out. Don't just push it out. Things you need to know from right away to the start. Uh, when you're doing your chest workout and any other workout is how to control the tempo. Uh, when you advance, you get to know that it's called time under tension, and uh, uh, that's the way you go about it. Nice and slow. Take down the weight and push back up. Take down the weight and push back up. And then, in cases where you feel like the weight you've added onto the bar is uh, maybe much heavier, uh, you should always have a spotter to help you pull up the weight. Uh, they'll hold the bar from either sides or the bubble and then they help you go down and then come back up go down and then come back up <clears throat> next up we're going to go for the incline bench i uh, will go to the flies and we get down for the flat bench today as is what we're going to start with flat bench incline flies and <laughs> That's enough for the first time. First thing when you're going for the incline, uh, you will need to adjust uh, the bar. Take it to a little bit a higher step. Uh, then we're going to adjust the seat as well. These benches come in different styles. So depending on where you are is how you can adjust it. This one is a plug adjust and then to where you want. And you're good to go. Now, the other thing you need to take note of is uh, you don't want to put the bar at a 90 or somewhat about 75. 75 would be a little bit so much high. Uh, 45 would still be okay, but I always feel like at 45, uh, I still high. So I go back down to around 40, and that's where I do my incline bench. Most times, uh, since we are beginning, uh, when you move the bench to the incline position, uh, the weight tends to get heavier. So, if you're starting out and you're working out alone, it would be a good thing you first take off the weight, and then we max out the back, and then we can put back the weight again. Same thing, leg placement, legs firm on the ground. Instead of gripping so wide, now we're going to close back a little bit in and then push out, go down nice and slow and up. Mind that tempo, slow eccentric and up. Let's go down. Three. Let's go down. Four. Let's go down and five. Five times five would be a good one, but if you can't make it to five times five, you can do three and then you can add on weight in case you can add on the weight. But uh, you can do all the workouts with the empty bar and then stay at the empty bar up for some time and then we can add on progress with the weight. Now you can add on the weight. Now 
nothing changes that much. But the other thing you need to take note of, I usually uh, don't clip, put the safety locks on the bubble. I'll show you what safety locks are. Uh, I don't put them on just that. In case I fail to push up the weight, I can slide off the weights and then continue to erupt the bubble. That's uh, when the weight becomes heavy. All right. Even when you add up the weight, nothing much really changes. Same foundations is what you follow. All right, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, four sets. As you complete beginner, like we've been going through, five times five, five times three, and then you can call that a workout. You don't need to push yourself so hard. Uh, you'll need that along the way. But for starters, all you need is to grasp the technique, movement, and then we can work on progressing with weight. These right here are the stoppers. Uh, these are the ones uh, we normally use to stop waste from falling off. Uh, they're the ones we pull here, put here. But like I said, uh, normally, in case you're not sure, you can lift the weight. You can first give them a break. Because in case you fail the weight, you can just tilt the bar and the weight falls off. It's a little bit challenging, but it can help someone in case you're lifting alone later on in your workout journey the other thing is don't forget to take off the weights we rack take off the weight we rack move back the barbell to where everything is supposed to be just leave everything in order for people who are going to be working out next after you last part of our chest workout let's go back to the flat bench Push back forward. If you have a movable bench around, uh, you can just use that. Uh, the one you can move around, make a flat bench. That's still very much okay. Last part is going to be dumbbell flies. All right, let's go. Get down. These are five fives. Get a weight you can easily move. Keep the legs down. And then let's fly out. Try to get that wide chest. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And we call that a set. Well, uh, some people start their workout journey when they have a little bit of strength, strength. but uh, uh, don't take it in a funny way. Uh, since I do train people, I see people who can't even lift up a bar. So that's why I'm saying uh, you start with reps uh, that are 5-5, five, five. start with push-ups, uh, maybe half if you can do full push-ups, and you progress on after that. It feels funny uh, sometimes, but that's the way it is. Sometimes people can't do push-ups, and it's just that. Uh, you go by them, try to push them up, and then they learn along the way. They get better. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be there and be like, okay, someone is just pushing a bar. I mean, that's where someone is starting up. And yeah, I'm here rooting for you. Uh, that has been it for the chest day. I'm sure I didn't miss out anything for a complete beginner out there. I hope this video helps you. And if you're pro, just share it to someone who you think might need it. Uh, yeah, let's grow strong together. Peace out. Love you all.